What's up guys? Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. Have you run into an issue like this recently? When launching iTunes on your computer, a pop-up appears that says iTunes cannot run because some of its required files are missing. Please reinstall iTunes. However, reinstalling iTunes doesn't seem to fix it. It also happens on the Microsoft Store version. Fortunately, we have found solutions for this issue. Here I'd like to share them with you guys. So, let's get into it. The first one is the simplest. You can fix it using iCare Phone. There's a link in the description down below if you'd like to download. So we launch iCare Phone on the computer. Then plug the device in. Navigate to the iTunes 12.12 .12 next to your iPhone. Go ahead and click Repair. Well done? Let's check it out. See, iTunes is working now. The next method is install an earlier version of iTunes. First, we open the control panel. Click uninstall a program. Find iTunes in the list and uninstall it. And then uninstall everything else with Apple Inc. as publisher. Then we go to the iTunes download page. Download an older version of iTunes according to your system. And then go ahead and install it. It might ask if you want it to update to a newer version, just ignore it. Then everything would be fine. This often has to do with system language, so changing it to English could be a fix. To do this, head to settings, time and language. Change the Windows display language to English, then sign in Windows again to apply the change. If you're having issues with the Apple website version, the Microsoft Store version might work for you. You can find it in Microsoft Store, then go ahead and install it. This version will overwrite the existing version on your computer, and then you can open it with no problem at all. Just like that. So guys, this is how you can fix your iTunes when it cannot run on your computer. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you.